Why isn't that focusing? <laughs> Every time with this thing. There we go. All right, welcome everybody. I'm Jesse Bartman and this is Bartman's Bits. All right, so since my last video on the Super HDR firmware update, I've gotten some comments on there and some comments on Facebook saying that I should do a video on exactly how to upgrade the firmware on this. Now, the last video was more about exploring what the firmware had to offer with the Super HDR. So in case you guys need some pointers, let's go ahead, dive into the phone and get to it. Okay, so I made a mistake. I had a nice top-down view showing you guys exactly what I was doing while doing the firmware update. And sure enough, I deleted it. Wow, that was a nice image. Deleted. Oh. On accident, of course. You know, when you format your cards and your camera, make sure you've saved off every single video every time. You don't really need to see what's on this thing while it's updating because it's gonna look pretty much like this. Now, uh, there'll be a blue light right here that's pretty much the only indication that you're gonna get that it's still on. And it is gonna restart by itself after the firmware update completes. You'll get a message on the phone saying that, and you should be able to connect directly after the firmware update unless something went wrong. All right, since I don't have a recording of these guys, I'm gonna go ahead and narrate it and throw up the screen recording. And you can follow along. Okay, so one thing that's really important that you do before you get started is make sure that your KuCam is fully charged. The last thing that you want is for the battery to die mid firmware update because that is just a recipe for disaster. It can cause it to brick, it can give you all sorts of issues, and you're probably gonna have to end up sending it back to Kandao for repair. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said before, the video that I had showing the top-down view of the KuCam, that's gone. So I'm just gonna have to narrate the screen recording from the phone and that'll suffice. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the KuCam app. And you can see I had it loaded beforehand and it says download firmware. What I've noticed is that anytime you have an update to the app, it's gonna give you this version 161 firmware for now, of course, it's going to change if they uh, if they push a different one. But it's going to give you that version 161 software as a download option. Now, once you download it and go ahead and connect to your camera, then it's not going to show anything. It's not going to show that there's a firmware update available for the camera because it checks what's currently loaded to the camera. So we're going to skip forward a little bit here and continue once it's done downloading. Okay, download completed. Right there, it's just telling you that in order to complete the update, you're gonna to have to connect to your camera so it can check versions and update if needed. All right, so you go ahead and hit okay. So at this point, you're gonna go ahead and power on the KuCam and connect to the camera through the app. All right, you're gonna to head to your settings, Wi-Fi as usual, pick the KuCam. I usually wait for a little bit before heading back to the app just so it has time to connect. Once you go back in, it's gonna automatically connect to the camera and there you go, firmware is outdated please upgrade to the latest firmware. So of course, let's go ahead and hit okay. And once you hit okay, you're gonna get this next message here, transferring firmware. So I believe at this point, it wouldn't be such a terrible thing if you had a power failure or the camera restarted because it's just transferring the firmware. It's not actually updating anything yet. Regardless, just make sure you have everything ready to go with enough power before starting. Okay, so once this is done here, that's when we get the camera's upgrading message. May take three minutes. It's very important that you don't mess with anything at this time. This is where you can have the hangups because right now the camera is updating itself internally without giving you any indication. So you may think something's wrong with the camera and power it off and that's exactly what you're not supposed to do. And just like that, upgrade is completed. Okay, well that wasn't three minutes. It was actually pretty quick. 
so it says that the camera has been upgraded and restarted automatically. Please connect the camera to confirm that the upgrade was successful. And that is something that you definitely have to do. And now we can see that the live view just disappeared there. That's because the camera is restarting at this point. So you can wait for it to start back up and then connect through the app. So you'll have to exit out, go back into your settings and reconnect again to Wi-Fi. And this is where I'm gonna pause it for a second because I actually did have an issue reconnecting to the camera again. It is best if you completely close down the app and open it again prior to reconnecting to the camera because it just sat here for quite a long time without connecting. So I closed out the app, uh, went back in, connected to the Wi-Fi, and then opened the app and it connected just fine. I'll just freeze it right there so I can show you that I definitely did have the camera up above pointing down to record all this. Even waved at the camera for a little bit, but sadly that was lost. Anyway, hopefully this was a good tutorial for you guys. And next time I will try not to format all of my hard work. So if you all have something you'd like me to make a video about, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And if you liked it, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe.